Well, Jeff Glass, I mean, kind of walk us through what was a, an emotional roller coaster of a season for you, obviously, up and down between Chicago and here at the Rockford Ice Hogs. But you had a lot to prove, and you had quite a successful year. But uh, what are you taking away from your season? Yeah, it was it was a good year. Um, it, it, it's obviously still fresh, uh, losing, and, and that's not fun. And um, I think we all thought we should still be playing right now, which which hasn't quite healed yet. But uh, over time it will, and, and I think it'll be a little easier to realize that it was a successful year, um, not just personally, but as a team. And um, I, I feel like obviously I got to play my first NHL game this year. I got to play 15 games with the Blackhawks, uh, Western Conference Finals with the Rockford Ice Hogs. Uh, be a leader. Um, I really enjoyed all, all those roles this year. And um, looking back, it, it, it was a great year. And then for you, I mean, I'd imagine that this was a special group of guys to be battling for, obviously. I mean, that's probably why the emotions are still running high right now, because you've got young guys, you've got veterans, you've got guys coming in from other organizations and guys kind of growing up through the ranks. But it seems like it was that, that perfect window of, of an opportunity for the Ice Sox. Yeah, it really was. Um, and he, even talking to a few guys last night and this morning, um, it wasn't like that all year. And, 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 you know, I think you could you called a few of the games. You saw how our teams changed this year. and. Um, it was it was a much different team in January and uh, even going back October, November, December than it was here at the end. And uh, we worked to get to the position we're in at the end, and we earned it. And um, nobody can take that away from you. And um, we evolved as a group. We evolved as guys. And uh, in the end, it, it was it was a pretty successful year. But it didn't come from nothing but hard work. You feel like that roller coaster of a year, the early successes, and then obviously the little lull during around the holiday season, and then ramping it back up. Do you feel like that's what made it uh, such a fun season to be a part of? Because it wasn't, you know, staying high for very long, staying low for very long. It was that ebb and flow of a year. Yeah, yeah, that's part of it. I think every season's going to have that. And um, if it was up to me, we'd never have any of those ebbs. It'd be all flows. But it was um, that's part of it. It's 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 a season and. Um, to, to me, it was the friendships, and and, and uh, I've never ever been a guy to kind of base my season on a bunch of the off ice stuff. Usually, the on ice play um, really dictates my thoughts at the end of the, of the season. But this year was a little different because there was so many guys in there that um, you get to know, and uh, you realize where they've come from or where they're headed. And and to be a part of that journey this year was pretty cool. And um, Again, it sucks we're not playing today or this week, and I, I fully expect it to be in Toronto right now doing this, but um, we'll be ready, and these guys are going to have big futures next year, and it was, it was fun to be a part of this year. Speaking of big futures, how about yourself? I mean, obviously, you had quite the career year, not only with the Ice Hogs, but as you mentioned, with the Black Cucks as well. I imagine that puts the, the hunger right back on uh, for you wanting to push forward into next year. Yeah, it does. Um, it was an exciting year for myself, obviously, playing in, in the NHL, and uh, having some success at that level as well as as being able to prove that uh, I can be relied on at this level for for a few things so uh, it was exciting but uh, now's the time of year where uh, you kind of sit back let your agent do some of the work and um, see what comes and, and I have nothing but great things to say about the Blackhawks uh, the Ice Hogs this has been a first class organization and um, I'd stay here as long as they'd want to have me but it's 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 hockey and we all understand how that works so um, it, it was, uh, it'll be an exciting future, it'll be an exciting couple months, but um, still kind of getting over this past season. With that being said, obviously it's a great time to be you know, with your family and enjoy some family time. Obviously for you, you're going to take some time off, but I remember reading in a couple articles ago that your wife probably had more anxiety than you did about what the future holds, but where's home for you? Where are you going to be spending your time and, and waiting for that phone to ring? Yeah, it's Calgary's home for me in the off season, and um, like you said, I feel worse for her and, and my daughter than I do for myself. I, uh, Hockey's always come pretty easy for me, and um, I, I signed up for this. She didn't, so uh, but we'll be fine. It's, it's it's good. Calgary's a good place. It's our family and friends are all there, and uh, it's nice to get home and catch up. And I, I think it'll be really nice to kind of go over this year with a few people that had a chance to follow me all year and uh, kind of rehash a few memories and, and go over that with them. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting home and doing that and uh, getting ready for next year.